Judge Musa, who rose to prominence in the early 70s and late 80s, died peacefully at the age of 81. A human rights activist, the judge was loved by both friends and later even former fools. Many at his funeral heaped praises on him for his resilience, honesty and his love for justice and fairness. The judge uh, was uh, a very humble man, uh, very much uh, upholding the ideals and the principles of the collective that Matiba worked with. I worked very long with Judge Musa. In fact, I met him in the 1976 uprising. And you know, since then he's been my friend, but at all times a comrade. Judge Musa in practice was not simply a lawyer, but he was a revolutionary. He stood his practice was directed to advance the cause of the struggle. And even after 1994, he stood up consistently for the rights and plight of the poor. He was unashamed about that. He sat next to me in chambers with judges together. And he would sometimes complain. And he called me by my nickname and said, look, I have to side against the poor in this case. I'm reluctant to do so. Here was someone who never turned anyone away from his door. Every activist who was ever in trouble with the law in the dangerous 1970s and 1980s and 1990s, the beginnings, we all made a turn at his office. He even tried to arrange for me to get married while I was in detention. We've worked together uh, during the time of the struggle. Uh, we have done a large number of, of political matters. He's really been an exceptional person, a man of integrity, uh, hardworking, honest. He plied his trade with many former legal brains, the likes of Dalla Omar, Pius Langa, and Fikile Palm, among others. In the early 80s, he was among those who formed the National Association of Democratic Lawyers and chaired its Human Rights Committee. He was appointed to the Western Cape High Court in 1998 and retired in 2011. Manilis, Tubase, SABC News, Cape Town.